Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Rishi Labs. In today's video, we will see how to download and install Microsoft SQL Server 2022 reporting services. So let's get started. For this, you require a web browser. In the address bar, you need to type SQL 2022 reporting services and download then press enter over here you will get the first link microsoft sql server 2022 reporting services click on this link now scroll down you need to select the language in which you want to download now before we press on the download button we'll see the version and the date published okay you can also check the file size you can also check the system requirements over here so what services it provides it provides you the feature to develop paginated reports which are optimized for document generation and printing it also provides a modern web portal you can view in any modern web browser so it provides you a web portal which helps you to manage reports on the reporting server you can publish your reports mostly paginated reports on the web reporting server so others can download view and also print those reports so all those facilities have been provided and you can also connect to sql server at the back end system requirements what they have mentioned is that support operating system windows server 2019 till 2022 you will need dotnet framework 4.8 or later and you should also have sql server database engine so in previous video we have installed sql server 2022 developer edition so we are going to connect it with it then the install instructions first you need to install sql server reporting services once it is installed you need to configure your report server using report server configuration manager so let's see how to do it we'll go up and download the setup file so this is going to download sql server reporting services Once the download is complete, click on open. I'll close the web browser as we don't need it. Okay. You can see the welcome screen over here. Now choose a free edition. In this drop down menu, select the developer. Otherwise, it will expire in 180 days. So you need to select developer as we have already installed SQL Server Developer Edition then click on next click on I accept the license term then click on next install reporting services only so click on next you can change the default directory but I would suggest do not change the default locations and click on install you'll get a pop-up to provide admin access click on yes so microsoft sql server 2022 reporting services are installed successfully you can see setup completed now configure manually and customize settings you have to click on configure report server pop-up select yes now over here you can see the server name is listed this server name is listed default because we have already installed 2022 SQL Server. Over here, you need to select SSRS Report Server Instance and click on Connect. So it's a prerequisite before you install reporting Report Server. Okay, you need to have a SQL Server installed on your Windows. Over here, you can see the current Report Server status. So report service status is started. If you want to restart, you can stop and start again. Okay. You can see the product version. And addition is SQL Server Developer. And this is the instance ID SSRS. Now we'll click on the next service account. Keep this default use built-in account. It's a virtual service account. Then the next is web service URL. So you can see the URL. This is the virtual directory. Report server. We'll keep this default. If you want, you can provide a new name to it. Then IP address. 
all assigned recommended keep it default https certificate keep this default then click on apply over here once you click on apply it is going to save the setting and this url is going to get activated you can see creating virtual directory so virtual directory report server with the name report server is created and this is the url okay and this url is active now now click on database now in the database menu you need to click on change database as the sql server name database name and report server mode is not reflecting over here so you need to click on change database you will get the two options if you already have report server database installed somewhere you can choose the second option but in our case we are going to create a new report server database so i'll keep this first option selected click on next this is the server name then authentication type current user integrated security will go with the default current user integrated security click on test connection so test succeeded click on ok then click on next this is the database name where all your reports will be stored then click on next so authentication type keep service credentials and click on next click on next so report server database configuration is happening and click on finish you can see all the configuration has succeeded click on finish then we'll see the next option web portal url in this menu this is the virtual directory which we created reports and this is the url i'll click on the apply so you can see now this url is active now once you click on this url it is going to access the web portal we'll see to it in next upcoming steps let's finish this setting click on email settings keep this default click on the execution account no need to make any change over here this is the encryption key section keep it as it is then subscription setting keep it blank scale out deployment no need of scale out deployment as such i'm going to click on this web portal url okay click on this url it is going to open the web browser you can see the sql server reporting services web page it is going to take some time for initial load the entire directory is open so this folder is empty as over here you can see this is a home page if you click on home on the left hand side they are providing favorites okay you can also change this menu uh, this icon okay if you have bookmarked any report as a favorite it will be displayed over here then second option is browse this is like a file manager you can browse all the reports you can also create a directory like i'll click on new you can see you can create a folder you can create a kpi paginated reports data set and data source we will see the use of all these features i'm going to come up with a series on sql server reporting services in that we'll see how to make use of this features you can also upload a file if you have developed any of the report ssrs report you can upload it through this feature then there is a publish button you can publish or reports select reports to publish then tiles if you you can change the view how it should be displayed like tiles and list you can also hide few items then manage folder you can maintain you can see manage those folders that access if you click on edit it is going to provide you with the different types of roles access these are the access roles okay if you want to provide browse access then publisher as a report builder so all those 
access are there we'll talk about it in the upcoming videos then there is a setting in settings you can manage the subscriptions and site settings over here there is a download help section is there you can search for a particular report and you can see the logged in profile okay then click on home over here i'll going to create a new folder i'm going to type finance reports okay click on create now this is going to create one folder a directory see you can double click on it and you can access the finance reports directory and you can publish all you can keep all your reports related to finance in this folder okay and you can share those reports url with the user so we'll see the how to use this reporting services what all features are there how you can develop ssrs reports and how you can upload how you can publish those reports in the upcoming videos so do subscribe to my youtube channel rishi labs i'll close this for now and you can click on exit so that's all for today thanks for watching